everybody, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. After my most recent What's New at Integrity Botanicals video where I featured the new Lily Lolo Pure Indulgence Palette, you guys were all about that review and swatch life. You knew it was coming. This is the latest from Lily Lolo. And like I said, it's called Pure Indulgence. Same $34 price tag, same beautiful packaging, just a new, exciting new range of shades. And what I love about Lily Lolo and all of their palettes is that I think they do such a great job at differentiating every single one of them. And in here, we just have a much more warm sort of setup. We have a beautiful sort of burgundy in there. And this is just more of a smoky eye palette in my opinion. So that is what I brought you guys today. In my opinion, this is very wearable smoky eye, but I'm just going to walk you through all of the shades, different textures, finishes, what to be mindful of, and then I will walk you through the eye look that I have on today so you guys can sort of see how they apply and everything like that. So same eight shades sort of setup, same $34 like I said, and then these shades are just stunning. If you know me at all, you're like, yes, this is Ashley's palette right here. So first up is the shade Vanilla, and Vanilla is just the yummiest, most perfect name for this shade. It's just a beautiful matte highlighting shade. You'll see several times I take this out to buff out the brow. This has great pigmentation to it while not being overwhelming because I don't like brow bone highlights that are like stark white and hard. It just sort of brings me back to the 90s, even though the 90s is all about a nice strong shimmer. It's just the boldness of it really sort of uh, I'm not sort of into, but the texture of this is really soft, great pigmentation on it, and it's just a good in-between shade. It doesn't really lean too yellow or too pink at all. Then we have the shade Caramel. You can see these names are definitely indulgent. And Caramel, I wouldn't say it's quite a true caramel shade. It's more of like a really, really light butterscotch. I think many of you could even get away with using this as a brow bone highlight as well. Could be pretty in the inner corner too. I didn't go for an inner corner highlight today, but it's really, really subtle. The first one is a complete matte, and Caramel is more of a subtle, subtle sheen to it. Moving on to the shade Bon Bon. This is one of my favorites in the palette. It's just a great transition shade. Um, this again is one of those more satin finishes and this does need to be built up, but for that first line of defense in the way of building up the crease, I think it is great. And again, a really, really neutral base to it. So you could sort of take the look in whatever direction you want to go. Then we have the shade Spice. And this one I just quickly wanted to mention, the fallout on this one is insane, but the pigmentation on this one is beautiful as well. This is the gold I have all over my lid. So this is just a bit of a more chunky glitter. Lily Lolo sort of does their glitters like that. But the impact from this I think is just stunning. I actually put this on top of the Gressa Eye Tint in Oreo today, but I think the pair is really, really beautiful. And I would also like to mention that these type of shades, unless you use something tacky as a base, um, the fallout is really bad, so I would do your eyeshadow first, or use a sticky base like I said, or just do all of your crease work, everything first from start to finish, and then use as absolutely last as the pop on the lid, because this color will dissipate and sort of fall down on the face. Then we have the shade Ganache, and Ganache is beautiful. It's another one to just sort of help deepen up the crease, but this has almost like a bit of a golden tone to it, and I think it's stunning. This blends like a dream, and this is great to add into the crease for just a tiny bit more definition. Then we have the shade that is the standout of the palette, and I think a lot of us are going to get down with. This is the shade Red Velvet. The only thing I wish for this shade is that it was more red. This to me, especially on the eye, is more of a rich brown that has a reddish hue to it. So it will pick up in the in the light and things like that. It, I applied it more heavily on my lower lash line, and I think that's where you guys can sort of see it more but um, it just applies more like a dark brown with a slight warmth to it. Still absolutely beautiful and still a really, really unique shade in my opinion. Then we have the shade Clove, and Clove is sort of the glitter balm of the bunch. You can tell even in the pan that this just has a lot of shine to it. I don't even think the shine shows up quite as much as that shade Spice, which is that gold shade, but this is really, really pretty. I can imagine like a great fall smoky eye with this all over the lid, maybe using a black base to really getting those 
to get those golden shimmers to, to pop up on the lid, but it's still a gorgeous shade no matter what. Really, really nice and rich, and the shimmer is really, really beautiful in that as well. Not chunky like spices. And then finally, we have the shade Bitter Chocolate, and Bitter Chocolate is another matte shade. This one, I think, is the most patchy of the bunch. I did notice that Lily Lolo Shadows... Um, I've mentioned this in the past too. When you put your finger in there, they get a little bit of a hard pan on them, which is just sort of like a film that you need to scratch off. So I would recommend maybe not digging your fingers into the pans of the matte shades. But either way, I, I got this to work. Blends great and has really, really nice depth to it. Very similar to the shimmering shade I just mentioned, Clove but just more flat and just ever so slightly deeper. So that is it, you guys. That is all of the Lily Lolo shades in the Pure Indulgence palette. I think the names are especially cute as well. I wanted to mention that quickly too. But let's quickly get into the tutorial portion where I talk through what shades I have on my eyes today so you guys can recreate this look and see how these shadows perform. Alright, so to start off this eye look today, I took the shade Bon Bon, which is that really, really great transition shade that's more satiny. Took that on a Delium Tool 785 Classic, right through the crease, building that up twice to get a little bit of depth. Using the same brush, I then went in with the shade Ganache. And Ganache is very, very similar tone, just a pretty, pretty neutral brown. Deepened up the crease with that a little bit, again with the Delium Tool 785. These both blend beautifully and give the perfect amount of depth that I sort of want to start the look off with. Then I went in with the Antonym 10 brush. This is sort of a blending brush, but I like it more to lay down precise color. And I went into Red Velvet, and I brought this in relatively far and also on my lower lash line because that's where I want most of the color to be so it sort of has that cat lake effect that I'm always going for so I lay this down and then I go back in with the Delium Tool 785 to blend that back and forth and get it nice and smooth then I was like nah we gotta kick this up a notch so I went in with the shade Bitter Chocolate and I really really just nestled that into the outer corner of my eye really really messy nothing too precise and then I went back into my Delium Tool 785 and the two shades Bon Bon and Ganache and I just really really softly I wasn't trying to move the color too much wiggled my brush back and forth until I finally got this to a place that I was happy with. Then of course several times throughout this process I went in with the Delium Tools 787 large blending brush and this first shade Vanilla just to clean up the brow and make sure that everything is transitioning really really effortlessly and smooth. And then to complete the look I went in with the Gressa Areo eye tint just over the lid as a bit of a base because I wanted to make sure this color popped. And then I took that beautiful, beautiful gold shade Spice and packed this onto the lid with my finger. That is how I think this shade applies the best. And then I went in with a little bit of eyeliner, Hint Beauty Mascara, and then I took that red velvet shade just underneath the lash line and the look was complete. I tried to use as many shades as possible for you guys to really show you, show you that this can create a beautiful smoky sort of look and if it can create a look of this caliber it can definitely create a look much more simple. So if you guys want to see that please do let me know and I'd be more than happy to bring you guys a tutorial. On my mouth today is also the nudist lipstick in Viva beautiful love it when i'm wearing this top but that is it on the lily lolo pure indulgence palette really really love this one but i have reviewed every single palette in the lily lolo lineup i think they all perform very very similarly their pigmentation is really nice and buildable but not immediately full on crazy their glitters can be a little bit gritty but they're nothing that i can't work with you just have to sort of know the trip tips and tricks that i shared with you guys today but if you want to shop this palette right here right now I'm gonna link it right down below for you guys as well as have a photo of all of the shades swatched so you guys can take a peek down there but if you guys have any questions comments concerns review suggestions please do let me know and leave me a comment down below don't forget to check out all of our social media and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and until next time I will catch you in my next one bye guys